Hello, my name is Xiaomei Go. I am an archaeologist in Malaysia, and this is my story. So in 2008, I applied for the Australia Awards and Davis Scholarship. So with this scholarship, I can pursue my passion as a professional archaeologist. I think back then, I really wanted to learn how to manage the heritage. I chose Flinders University was because they have a very good foundation in indigenous archaeology. I think most of the knowledge that I gained from Australia is to explore the human side of research. When I got back to Malaysia in 2013, I started to work um, for Centre for Global Archaeological Research, University of Science Malaysia. So Tamun Cave is actually one of the many caves that contains rock paintings. But Tamun is especially exceptional because this is the only cave with the red paintings in postmodern Malaysia. We don't really have the scientific dating at this stage. I revisited Tamun Cave in the end of 2014. It was actually quite shocking. The cave was really badly vandalised and not properly maintained. And you can actually spot and observe a lot of premature deteriorations. The whole research focused on to re-document the rock arts because with the, with the advancements of technology, we have a lot of new software, new methods in assessing and documenting rock art. Getting into 2016, we sort of look into the demographic change over the past 20, 30 years. We found out that there were lots of indigenous tribes living around the cave. And this is why we started another project to map the ancestral link between the Tamil rock art with the local indigenous group. We actually approached so many different tribes. Some indigenous tribes straight away rejected the whole idea of this is something connected to us. It's like, no, we're not familiar with it. So after a few attempts, we landed on the Tamiya group. And one of the chiefs was like, that looks a little bit similar to whatever we have. So they took out their blowpipes. And then you can see a lot of the patterns that they engraved from the blowpipes are actually quite similar and mirror back to what you can see in Tambun. And I started to ask them lots of questions like, where did you learn all this from? I learned from my dad, I learned from my grandpa. And this is just common, everyone knows it. I think their perspectives and their input were somehow added value into how we see the paintings culturally. Scientifically, we still see that as a very high scientific value paintings with very high technology like skills when it comes to how they source different uh, painting materials. The still actually reflect a certain level of technology. But when it comes to interpretations, I think we started to feel that these paintings mean more than just technology and the material cultures of all prehistoric people in Malaysia. It actually added some humanity into it, like how it's related to their dreams, how it relates to their culture, and how does it still practice today. So I really like to adopt or integrate wherever I learn in Australia, especially how they establish a long-term partnership with the local okay. indigenous. So we don't see them as research subjects. We see them as a friend, as a partner that can actually complement our research and learn from each other. We learn their culture and they learn wherever we can actually provide an offer. And I think this is a balanced relationship when it comes to research. Saya amat seronok lah. Bukan senang nak jumpa nenek moyang kita nak tulis macam ni. Berapa puluh tahun pun tak tahu lagi. Tapi kita tahu berdaya orang asli dia tulis. Dia macam simpan kenangan lah. Akan orang datang tengok. Memang amat penting sebab apa kita nak ingatkan generasi baru oh ini sejarah orang asli. They told me that they are so happy. They finally they see some arts that connected to them, and it seems like they are rediscovering their own history. That they really want to get involved and tell the young generations about what they seen. So far, they bring in people every month. Their own people, like just small group of people, will come in every month, share their interpretations with our researcher and also the public and I think in long run it might be really good to recreate their identity. I think they are really happy with that and they really want to embrace part of this rock art as their identity.